everyone, it's your girl Jen and today we are in my kitchen because I'm gonna be going over all my favorite things that I love to use while I'm cooking. These are my favorite gadgets, my tools, my appliances. It just makes me feel prepared and when you're equipped, it just makes cooking a lot more seamless. So let's get started. The first item I want to show you guys is my manual food chopper processor. I have been in the market for a food processor for a very long time. However, I wanted something that was compact, easy to clean, and effective, and this ticks all those boxes. This is incredibly easy to use. You just chop up the item of choice into chunky bits and then you place it into the container, pop the top back on, and then you pull the string. And the more you pull the string, the finer and finer the things will get. I use this to make guacamole. Sometimes I use this to make sorbet. It's a must have for every kitchen. Next up, I have my beloved salad spinner. I love this guy. I like to keep my greens nice and clean and this does just the trick. So basically, the way this works is you put whatever you want washed inside this little strainer and then you wash it, do your thing, and then you put the top on and then you press the button and then I guess like the force of the spin flings all the water to the side and boom, you've got dry greens. I have noticed that when you dry your produce properly, it lasts a lot longer. The next gadget I want to talk about is this egg cooker. I feel like this is everywhere on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. It's just a very popular internet item, but I swear to God, this has been amazing to hard boil my eggs. All you gotta do is you get your egg, you use this egg piercer, there's like a nail right here, and then you pierce the bottom of the egg. Then you place it onto this little netting over here, and then for the water, you grab your little cup, and then you determine how hard or soft you want your egg. I usually do it between the medium and the hard. You pour the water in and then you pop the top on, press the button, and then in a couple of minutes it'll buzz and that's when you know when it's done. And voila, you've got perfect hard boiled eggs every time. So next up I have this water heater. This is amazing for when you need hot water on hand, which is honestly pretty often when you're cooking. I am a very impatient person and I do not have time to wait for water to boil on the stove top. So I love to use this device. I just pop open the top, pour my water in. There are measurements on the side so you can determine how much water you want. And then I'll press this tab down and in a couple minutes I've got hot water. This is amazing for when I am steaming veggies, when I'm boiling anything, or even when I make tea. This is just a beautiful piece of technology. My next item is not a necessity, but it's something that I just enjoy having. It is my glass front toaster. This was recommended by Miss Remy Ashton herself. This is great because when you put your bread in, you can actually see how much it's being toasted. I like my toast lightly toasted, and Ben likes his toast like really, really toasted, like to the point that it's charred. So we enjoy that we can have full control and transparency of what our toast is gonna look like. So this is actually the newest appliance in my kitchen. It is my air fryer. I have been very curious about air frying for a while. I just hear so many good testimonies about it. So I was like, okay, let me go get one. Let me see what the hoopla is about. And honestly, it's amazing. An air fryer is essentially like a conventional oven and a toaster oven. If they had a baby, it would be the air fryer. I love that I can make anything extremely crispy and it's also great to heat up leftovers, pizza, you can make french fries, you can do so much. And it's also extremely easy to use. There's all these buttons on the interface and if you want like french fries, you press the french fry button. If you want to heat up bread, you press the bread button. It's just extremely easy to use and every day I find more and more recipes where I can use my air fryer. So next up, I wanna chat about my Blendtec. Now this blender is the creme de la creme of blenders, and I would know this because I worked at two smoothie shops. This was actually the blender that we used, and we would just pump out, churn out smoothies at that place using this. It's incredible. There is so much strength and force and control that the Blendtec has. You can pulverize frozen fruit, ice, and just make it into thick and creamy concoctions. If you're in the market for a great blender and you have the means to splurge on the Blendtec, I highly recommend it. It will make your smoothie making experience very enjoyable. Rice will always be a staple in my life. This is the rice cooker I use. This is by the brand Cuckoo. It makes a beautiful 
juicy, succulent bowl of rice each time. I tend to only cook brown rice, and brown rice is normally a little bit on the dry side. When I use my cuckoo rice cooker, it has just made my brown rice next level. It's so good, it's so like moist and delicious. Oh my God, I'm like getting hungry talking about it. This is honestly one of the best presents that I've ever received, and I think about my brother every time I use this device. So thank you, James. When you're cooking, it is very important to have a good kitchen set. Now, if you are looking for a starter kit, then this one by Material is perfect. It literally comes with everything you'll need in the kitchen. It even comes with like this holder. So if you don't have much storage in your kitchen, I think this is perfect because it just like stores everything for you in a really beautiful dynamic way. So we've got three types of knives. This is definitely like the sharpest knife in my kitchen. So I need to be very careful. It comes with this big knife. It comes with a smaller knife. And then it comes with this serrated knife. That's really great for cutting bread and also tomatoes. And then it also comes with a whisk tongs, a spatula, a cooking spoon, and a like a perforated spoon so you can whisk out things. This is great when I'm making my stews and I need to take out the little like anchovies. This has made life a lot easier for me. I use these items pretty much every single day and I love that it just tucks away so beautifully in my kitchen. I wanna talk about food storage because storing your food will elongate the life of your greens, your produce. And honestly, I don't know why it bothers me so much, but I really, really hate food waste. Like nothing crushes my soul more when I open up my fridge and there's just rotten food. I'm like, I have failed you. I don't really have that problem anymore because I have a produce saver. So this produce saver is so freaking clutch because it elongates how long your produce will last in your fridge. I learned this new thing. So I guess produce emits gas. If the gas isn't being properly let out, then that gas will just like rot your produce faster. So inside the storage, it comes with this little net thing. So that way it circulates all that gas. And then on the top, we've got this non-toxic carbon pack and I guess that is what absorbs all the gas and it just makes your produce last so much longer. In this longer one, I keep all my lettuce and my kale. Right after I wash it in my salad spinner, I'll just put it in here and it will last me for the entire week and then some change. I also have a smaller one and this is where I keep all my herbs like my dill, cilantro, parsley. I feel like back in the day, I would have to use my herbs in like three days or less or else I'll start like wilting and just be unusable. But with this, like look, this dill has been in here for a week and a half. Like it looks so freaking bright and vibrant. It works, I'm telling you. So now I wanna talk about pots and pans. This is my saute pan from Caraway. I love that this is like the exact same color as my kitchen. It's very fitting. Now, I heard about Caraway for the first time from my girl Sophia. She has the entire set. However, before I wanted to make an investment. I wanted to just like buy one and see how I felt. And honestly, now I feel tempted to get the whole set, but baby steps. So this saute pan is perfect for cooking curry, stir fries. Uh, I can even boil pasta in here. This is amazing. And I love that it's completely nonstick. It's insane how much it doesn't stick to the pan. It's honestly incredible. And lastly, I wanna finish off the video with my heart pot. This is by the brand Le Crusette. This is just a good quality, sturdy pot in the shape of a heart. I feel like this really signals how I feel about food. I love to use this for stews specifically. I think that this makes the perfect portion for soups. Like it makes around like two to three servings of soup and it's perfect because, you know, I wanna have like a different soup every couple of days. So this is perfect. So that is a wrap on all my favorite kitchen tools, appliances and gadgets. Please let me know in the comments down below any tools that you use because I'm always in the market for something fancy in the kitchen. <laughs> I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Mwah.